guys, my name is Britt and welcome back to my channel. So in this video we're gonna be decorating my bookshelf and I'm just gonna show you ways how to decorate your bookshelf as well to make it personal and to make it you because your bookshelf is like the focus point, the middle point of your room or your study or your living room and of course we all want it to look good and just cool and funky so that is what we're gonna do today. As you can see my bookshelf looks very bare right now because for the sake of this video I actually de-decorated it <laughs> so we can decorate it again so I can walk you through the process to tell you all the little tips and tricks on how to decorate your bookshelf and how to make it really you. If you like these types of videos please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more bookish videos but without further ado let's decorate this bookshelf because as of right now it doesn't look too good. So my first tip is to create a sort of base to decorate your books. So instead of just having your books all lined up nicely like this, you can lay them down a bit to create like a sort of platform where you can put lovely trinkets on and bits and bobs. And by laying down your books, you can actually create some more movement in your bookshelf instead of just having all the books lined up like this. You can stack them on top of each other to create this cool sort of wavy movement that I really love. And because of that movement, it can give you way more freedom to add bits and bobs to your bookshelf and to really make it into the bookshelf that you love. So as you can see it has created so much more movement into my shelves and it just gives me so much room to put little bits and bobs on so that's what we're gonna do next. Secondly you can make theme shelves so for example I really really love Harry Potter and I've got loads of Harry Potter books so I've decided to make these three shelves into Harry Potter shelves so you can add cool Harry Potter items like for example this little Dumbledore Funko Pop and for example an owl and a cool sort of crystal that looks a bit like the Philosopher's Stone. And of course you can also add the bigger Funko Pops. I've got a lovely Ron Weasley over here. And we can't forget a wand. Again, Ron Weasley's wand because I absolutely love Ron Weasley. And I've also got these really cool Fantastic Beasts Magical Creature cards that I'm gonna put on my Harry Potter shelf as well. And last but not least, an amazing music box that actually plays the Harry Potter theme song. How amazing is that? So you can add every item that you possibly can think of that has to do with that theme or that book series. So for example, you can also make a Shadowhunter shelf. I have quite a few Shadowhunter books, but not enough to make like a whole shelf dedicated to those books. But if you do, you can just add every item that you can possibly think of that has to do with that book series and make it this cool theme bookshelf. So next up we're gonna talk about how to make it personal because this is your bookshelf and it should represent you and the things that you love and cherish and you can put everything on there that just really represents you. So for example a thing that I really love is sea turtles and as you can see I've got quite a few sea turtle items so this is a very cute little glass sea turtle that I got from Los Angeles and then this amazing sea turtle plush from London and this one from America as well I think in Monterey so of course I'm gonna put these on my bookshelf as well and then you can also add items that mean a lot to you. For example, this old photo camera that I inherited from my grandfather, or this little box that you can open up like this that I got from my great-grandmother when she passed away. And I just, you know, love to put these on my bookshelf to just remind me of them. And secondly, they also look really cool and really vintage. My next tip is to add DIY things. It is always so lovely to make things yourself that you can then display on your bookshelf and to just celebrate creativity. And of course, it doesn't have to be your own DIY project. It can also be an item that someone else made for you or you bought from someone. And I just love celebrating creativity and to just display it on my bookshelf. An example of a cool DIY project um, that I did together with my dad is this cool skill model of the Titanic and I just absolutely love the Titanic so much. I find it so interesting so of course I have to display this one on my shelf as well. Next up I have these awesome origami stars that I made out of book pages and these are actually made from the book pages from Les Miserables and I think they look absolutely fabulous. They were really cool to make. I could show you in another video how to make them but they are just really really cool and I love to put these on my bookshelf because they just scream books and creativity which I just absolutely love. Another cute DIY project is this cute little Hendrix gin bottle and I made it like this to make it look like there was like a cool candle just dripping over the bottle because it just looks really aesthetically pleasing and very Pinterest. Then I've also got a cute little painting that a friend of mine made. It just looks absolutely adorable. It's a seahorse and it's this beautiful orange color and she actually painted this which is just amazing. And I've also got this amazing Harry Potter mug that a friend of mine made for my birthday and it says it's Leviosa with some cool feathers and then on the inside it says nine and three quarters so this is definitely also going on my bookshelf. 
my next tip is to put as many memories on your bookshelf as you can possibly can because memories like photos and paintings that you made or just things that make you remind of cool things that happened in your life are always just so heartwarming to look at and they always brighten up your day some personal favorites are a photo with my brother and with one of my best friends when we went to london and next up i have this drawing that i made um, a whole while back of Ed Sheeran and it's actually signed by Ed Sheeran when I first saw him at his concert in London in 2012 so that's a whole lot of years ago but I always just I love this photo and of course it is going on my bookshelf we're nearly there but one of my favorite things to put on my bookshelf are plants I love plants whether they're real or fake they just add so much character to a bookshelf and just to a place in general I love having plants in my bedroom but on my bookshelf it always just looks the best for example I've got this very cute little fake plant but it just looks pretty real and it's just so adorable and I've also got this really cute again it's fake but it's like a cool um, sort of hanging plant that I also love to put on my bookshelf and it just brings so much color into your bookshelf and who doesn't like colors right so yes plants are definitely a very great way to spice up your bookshelf and for my last tip I put you in a bit of a weird angle but don't forget the top of your bookshelf I mean so many people seem to forget it but there's so much room on top of your bookshelf that you can just decorate and make it fun and cool so that is what we're gonna do next as you can see i've already got some books on my top shelf those are like very big books that don't really fit um in my regular shelves so i just laid them flat like that and now we're gonna put some cool things on top of it so these are all gonna be things that are already on my normal bookshelf as well so for example a plant and again this is a fake one it's a very big hanging plant and the cool thing is it's just like I've got a normal pot right here and it's literally just like this. You can just literally stick it into something and now it looks like you've got a very cool hanging plant and from a distance it actually looks really real. And I've also got another plant. This is actually the only real one on my shelf but it is this one and again I think it just looks really really cool and funky. And of course you can also put photos and your bookmarks. I put all of my bookmarks in this very cool butterbeer cup so um, they're all together and I also love to put this on top of my bookshelf because it creates a bit more height because there's so much room on top of it. So definitely try to add some items that are a bit higher so that it really fills up the entire bookshelf and the entire space. And last but not least, any spare items, little bits and bobs that you still have that you think would fit nicely on your bookshelf, just put them anywhere you like. Because I'm sure that you'll still find some you know, little spots where you can put them, because I've still got a couple of items left. So now I'm just gonna finish it all up and show you the end result. How much better does this look than before? So this is how we redecorated my entire bookshelf. I really love doing it, or sort of re-redecorating it because I already redecorated it, but for the sake of this video, I thought I'd show everything to you and how I like to decorate my bookshelf and just some tips and tricks on how you can decorate your bookshelf as well. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more bookish videos and reading vlogs and weekly vlogs. And also don't forget to hit that little notification button so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, I will link everything down below in the description as well so you can check it out. I hope you all have a very, very amazing day and I will hopefully see you in my next video.